Hey guys, so today's video we're going to talk about the answer, which is a software slash plugin for your editing, color editing. So they've been around for quite a while, if I'm not wrong. And recently they came up with the Premiere Pro version of the Hunter. Firstly, I would like to thank the Hunter for being kind enough to let me try out their software. And uh, there's a link below in the description if you guys want to try it out. So there are dozens of real photographic and motion picture films with truly analog controls. So you can adjust film grains, bloom, elation. So I'll go through with you what they have. I'm going to do a comparison with the videos I've shot so far and re-edited uh, for comparison's sake. You guys can see for yourself. So okay, here we're going to start off with the effects. So the enhancers need effects and we're going to drag the effects and put it onto our film, onto our video. We're going to go into the enhancer and we're going to go into effects and then you're going to drag the enhancer effect into the video clip that you want to edit. So basically what you have here is you can input your source, which camera you shot it in and uh, you can do some minor adjustment based on the exposure, temperature, tin and uh, the fringe. So you can just adjust accordingly to what you want. So I'm going to do zero here. And color temperature you can adjust accordingly but with different film stops it's going to change the colors anyway so we don't touch that first. So as you can see there's a list of film tons of film that you can choose from and uh, here I'm just clicking some so that you can have an idea of what different colors can do different film stock yeah I'm still clicking here so you can see Fuji Fuji Pro 400 everybody's favorite and uh, we have the Kodak Pro Kodak Color Chip Films Kodak Ultra Motion Picture Films as well All the good stuff actually. So I really like this Cine Steel 50D for this look. So I'm gonna pick that. And you can adjust to push or pull like you would on the actual film when you're shooting. So here I'm just playing around with the black point, the white point, just tweaking it slowly and see if I need it there's a lot of things to play around when you're editing so it's entirely up to you what you guys want to tweak So now we have film grain. With film grain, you can actually adjust how much uh, film grain you want in the image. So you can adjust by the size and the amount of grains that you can see in the image. So the film grain here is actually very different from uh, how we usually add film grain. Because for myself, I would just add layers of videos of uh, 35mm or 18mm, sorry, 16mm or 8mm and then I will just overlay it via uh, the opacity but for this, they actually render it in another way which makes it look really real and you can tell that's really different from what you would usually do to achieve your film grains So here you can adjust uh, your mid-tones, your shadows, and you have to click enable to make sure that you can see the film grains. Secondly, we move on to halation. So you can adjust the halation and you have to click enable uh, after you play around with it. So you can tell the difference of it. So secondly, we have halation. Uh, you can add on to it if you want to. And now we have Bloom. So Bloom is what you would have 
when you're trying to add promise onto your actual lens. And the bloom here is quite nice and subtle. It kind of makes the image pop a bit and make the skin a bit softer. So I like that and I'm going to add it into my video clip. And you can see the difference. So we have vignetting, so we have the vignette, just adjust accordingly. For myself, dehalation, the bloom, the bloom song, it's important to me. So I usually just uh, temper with that, and then I'll just go on with editing. So that's pretty much it. What I have here is some sample videos of what I've edited prior to the Hunter and what I've done after the Hunter. You guys can see the difference uh, in the two images. The first one, usually I try to replicate the film look as much as I can. And with the Hunter, you can actually see that it looks a lot better with the smoothness and the color and the blue. It kind of adds a bit more uh, wow to me. Overall, I really like the software. It definitely helps me achieve the look that I want for my videos, which is a bit more uh, filmy. Is that a word? Film? Which is film-like looks. And uh, this software plugin really helps a lot. The answer is currently on Lightroom, DaVinci Code, and recently Premiere Pro. And uh, there's a link below in the description if you guys want to try it out. So thanks for watching guys, uh, see you in the next one.